channel. So today's video is very exciting because I believe this is my first Halloween tutorial on my channel. So I'm going to start with like a pretty glam look. Like this isn't like the creepy, uncomfortable kind of makeup. And I really want to get into that, but I just kind of wanted to start with something a little more glam, a little more me. This tutorial is a pumpkin sweat. Girl! So this... So the special thing about this tutorial today is that I relate to it so much. It has a special place in my heart. Today's tutorial is a pumpkin spice makeup look, if you can't tell. I got the yellows and the oranges. I'm really loving how it came out and it was also really fun to play with like extreme looks. And if you decide to become a PSL for Halloween, Please let your girl know. Tag your girl on Instagram if you're gonna redo this look. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe below. And also, don't forget to follow me on my other social medias at Rotem Beauty. I got Instagram, I got Twitter, I got Snapchat. So make sure to follow me on all that, especially Snapchat because I'm on there like every single second of the day. And Instagram because I'm trying to get that follower count up, if you know what I'm saying. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in my next video. Bye. So I'm priming my eyes with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and using this Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush to apply it and then blending out with my fingers. And this is going to act as a base for the shadows. And then taking my Morphe 35B palette, taking this nude matte shade just to set the uh, paint pot so that all the shadows blend nicely on top. And then taking this from the 35O palette, this kind of um, orangey crease color and I'm just taking it with an angled brush to start to map out my cut crease that I'm going to do later on. So now taking the shade Chickadee by Makeup Geek, I'm just using this to blend out the line that I created and, can, and kind of add a little dimension to the crease. And using this shade Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek, I'm just taking this e.l.f. precision brush and I'm applying it into the crease again to deepen up that little cut crease area and blend it out and make sure that it's nice and um, kind of ombre out. So I'm blending it out with a bigger um, E40 Sigma blending brush. Then taking the shade Corrupt by Makeup Geek, I'm using an angled brush to redefine the crease that I want to cut later on. And I'm also winging it out, as you can see here. And I'll leave all the products and brushes that I used linked below like I always do. So I'm just reapplying, blending out, reapplying, blending out. You guys know this process already. So to really define the cut crease, I'm going to take this Inglot 77 gel eyeliner. It's just a black eyeliner and I'm using a Sigma angled, a small angled brush. And I'm just going over the black eyeshadow that I applied earlier in the crease. And I'm very slowly doing this because it's very hard to remove this eyeliner. So you want to keep looking back and making sure that the shape matches the other eye and everything looks good. And then I'm winging it out as well right here as you can see. And then I'm just taking a pencil brush by Sigma and I'm blending this um, out with the black corrupt shade by Makeup Geek and just making sure everything is nice and blended. So now I'm taking this NYX Full Coverage Concealer and a really small brush and I'm carving out this line and that's how I'm going to create this cut crease and make sure it's really sharp and smooth. So that way when you apply your crease colors it doesn't matter if you kind of create the line very smooth because you'll always clean it up after with some concealer. So this is really the trick right here and I'm also filling in that area under it just to act as a base for my eyeshadows I'm going to apply next. So this yellow shade is from the Morphe 35C palette and I'm taking a small shader brush and I'm applying this to the inner corners kind of towards the center of the lid. 
And then taking this Sigma um, eyeshadow shader brush, I'm taking this super orangey pumpkin-y shade and applying it to the center of the lids right there. And I'm kind of over overlapping this with the yellow so it blends nicely and creates kind of this ombre effect. And then I went into my Makeup Geek palette and I took this shade called Morocco and I applied it over top of that. And you can see this color is a lot more intense, so I'm glad I went over that with this shade. So using the same palette, I just took this red shade and I'm applying this to the outer corners of the eyes and I'm also bringing it up towards the wing, just under the cut crease area where I have negative space. And then just creating a wing with the Inglot 77 gel eyeliner. So next, I'm taking this NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner, I believe it's in the shade Halo, and I'm just applying this directly over the wing that I just created, and I think this is like the best part of the look. I'm so glad I did this step. What I did with the other eye is I did this colored wing first and then went over that with the black gel eyeliner, and I think that came out a little bit better. So I did try out both to see which one came out better, so I prefer the other um, way to do it. And then I'm just cleaning under my eyes with a makeup wipe and sharpening the wing. Then taking this super white matte shadow, shadow, blah, 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 shadow, and I'm just brightening the area under my eyebrows. And then just quickly did my face off camera, and I'm now going to do the under eye area. So I'm taking the shade Corrupt with a flat definer brush, and I'm just applying that to the lower lash line. And then taking a pencil brush in the shade Cocoa Bear, I'm just blending this out to smoke it out. And then I took the shade Morocco with the pencil brush to smoke it out and also give it a little bit of the orange to bring back the pumpkin spice feels, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm taking the shade Magic Act by Makeup Geek and highlighting the inner corners. This is a foiled eyeshadow, so it's really intense and that's exactly what I wanted. And also the gold gives a really like fall vibe. And then I took that yellow shade and just applied it in the inner corners of the lower lash line, just between the highlight of the inner corner and then the smoked out lower lash line. And then applying some eyeliner by Makeup Geek. This is in the shade Obsidian. And I'm using the Tarte Mascara for the lower lashes. I'm using this highlighter by Becca. This is Prosecco Pop, and I'm just applying this to the high points of my cheeks my nose and then my cupid's bow i think this highlight is so gorgeous for fall it has like a really nice gold color to it there is never a reason to stop highlighting not even halloween honey so for the lips i'm using this eyeliner um, in the shade obsidian again just to outline my lips and i'm also kind of like bringing it in just just a tad bit because i'm gonna need room for the other eyeshadows that i'll be using and then I'm taking the shade Morocco. Actually, before I did that, I used this eyeliner. This is by NYX. I believe it's called Milk. And I'm just applying that as a base for the eyeshadows. It works a lot better than just applying the eyeshadow straight. Then taking the shade Morocco by Makeup Geek and applying that under the black and blending it in a little bit. And then for the center, I'm using that yellow shade that I used for the eyes from the Morphe 35C palette. And I'm just blending that again with the other shades and it creates this like pumpkin spice ombre effect. And then lastly, taking the shade Corrupt by Makeup Geek with a flat definer brush and then just setting the eyeliner that I applied because we want it to not move because this is a very dangerous color. We don't want this going anywhere around our face. And that is all for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to do something a little more interesting next. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And also if you have any ideas, let me know below. <laughs> okay, bye now. For